Welcome back to the Sports News. Right now, I'm joined by Bob Jors, Athletic Director at Middleton High School. Bob, thanks for joining us here today. No problem. Glad to be here. And we were talking a little bit off camera. You've been in Middleton a long, long time with a little break in there. Uh, what are some of the keys you've had to maintaining, you know, not only athletic but academic success at Middleton? Well, we've had a rich tradition of all family people working in the business. And what I mean by that is our boosters, our administration, um, all of our different coaches, all putting in extra time and making our program very successful over the years. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of interaction over there, and some great coaches and uh, staff as well. Um, what are some of the reasons that, you know, we always want more students to participate? What are some of the advantages for student athletes to be involved in uh, athletics? Sure. The more kids that you get involved, they have a greater commitment, a, a greater interest in the school. So we've pushed that very hard, and, and I think everybody knows that. Get somebody interested in the school, they're going to want to go out for athletics, they're going to want to do better in their grades. And it's worked really well for us. Our, our average, average grade point for kids that have been out for athletics was 3.4, and then the, um, those were, that were not in athletics was a 2.5. So we don't have a whole lot that aren't in athletics. In fact, we have about 1,200 kids that are out for athletics, and it seems to be working rather nice for us. GPA is really impressive for, for athletes. Way to go. Uh, what are you most proud of with everything kind of Milton achieves, you know, not only this year academically, but, you know, in the last several years, Middleton's had some really powerhouse teams. Uh, what are you most proud of with your position? Uh, yes, we have, I think last year we had 14 teams that finished in the top 15 at state. That's pretty impressive. Um, we also had 15 conference champions last year. Uh, we already have eight this year and we're going into our spring season. But I think what I'm most uh, um, proud about is moving to the next level. Uh, we have a new strength and conditioning program that we're working on as well as the participation, get those kids involved, and as I said before, our grade points. As you touched on some of the things to look forward to for Middleton Athletics, with that, how do you improve on that? You mentioned the new you know, strength and conditioning program, some other things going on. What, uh, what are some of the goals you have, or how do you improve? Yeah, I think it's do more of the same. If, you're, if it's not broken, then keep doing that. Um, the strength and conditioning is great. I, our, our fathers and mothers and coaches from way in the past had a different uh, vision of what strength and conditioning was about. You would do bench presses, you would do squats, now it's a lot of movement and we're keeping up with the times basically. Um, also educating our coaches. Our coaches are great and they've stayed with our program for many years, uh, but it's you're never too old to keep learning so we try to go to clinics, bring people in, see what the latest things are that are happening. Bob George, Athletic Director over at Middleton High School. We'll be right back with more of the sports news after this.